So I've been keeping my eye on this beast at a local thrift store for a while. They wanted $40 for it, but I couldn't quite bring myself to pay that much. But when it went on sale for half price, I don't think I could say no to the quick drip behemoth that's in front of us. This is a surprisingly large aluminum drippolator made by the Quick Drip Aluminum Company uh, from West Bend, Indiana. It's got everything you'd expect from a drippolator, a top reservoir which brews the coffee into the bottom. Although in this case, it's got an internal top filter which lifts out. You put your coffee in there, you put this top filter on top of the coffee, you fill it to the appropriate amount, and voila, you have coffee. It's clearly marked on the bottom, quick drip coffee maker. This one looks like it's actually seen a little bit of use. Uh, not super heavy use, it's really not discolored, but it, it definitely has seen some. And it's made by the West Bend Aluminum Company in West Bend, Wisconsin. Uh, so all I have to do now is heat some water up on the stove and uh, we're gonna make nine cups. Honestly, I don't expect to really like the coffee from this, but you gotta give it a try. One of the things that I think it's gonna be dissatisfying about the coffee maker is that aluminum doesn't hold heat well. So by the time we get nine cups of water, and it could go at its maximum to 18 cups. By the time we get nine to 18 cups um, to go through the coffee, I expect that it's gonna be uh, significantly cooler than we would like it to be. I suppose you could keep it on the stovetop or over some sort of you know chafing dish, but uh, coffee's in, we'll put on the top. We've got to make sure that it sits all the way down. There we go. So that all of the water can go through it. And I think the water is going to go through relatively slowly because, of course, those holes are fairly small. One of the things that's really going to limit the time and uh, determine the time that all of this takes is how long it takes your water to boil. So we're pouring it in to the nine cup mark, which is quite a lot, and one of the things that we also see here that I have also just noticed is that as I was pouring it, of course, it was going down through. A lot of air is coming up through the, uh, out of the container. And of course, it's now, you know, dripping over the coffee. About two minutes in, you can see that the water's already cooled down. Oh, well, maybe you can't see. The water's already cooled down to about 180 degrees. All right, as you can see, after about five minutes, all of the coffee is done, for, gone through the coffee grounds. And is it still dripping? It's still dripping out a little bit. We'll give it a little bit more time. Um, but it's rather expedient, and just judging from the color of the coffee, I have definitely had worse. In general, the coffee tastes fine. It's not great, it's not horrible. Um, and I think this is a cute novelty. I don't imagine that I'm going to make coffee in this again, unless somebody's like, oh my gosh, I really want to try a gargantuan bulbous dripolator. In which case, sure, I would be happy to pull out my gargantuan bulbous dripolator. If I'm making coffee for 18 people, I'm definitely going to use a percolator, uh, probably one of the urn percolators that I haven't reviewed yet that I have floating around in my basement. But, or, you know, honestly, brew two pots of a drip coffee maker. This, this is fun, though, and uh, it's definitely got a novelty that's... Uh, worth checking out.